Hi everybody, it's Tina Plackinger. Thanks for joining me today. Um, yeah, I'm sorry that I don't do more videos. I just uh, don't like to uh, just come on just for the sake of coming on, you know. Um, if I don't have something to say, uh, I, I sort of retreat from making videos. I also don't like to be really, um, you know, depressed or spun out when I make my videos. So uh, every once in a while I'm pretty jacked up, you know, and, and like the last video and I'll, I'll come out with some something. But uh, if the Holy Spirit isn't working through me, um, then I don't make the videos. So, uh, yeah, things just can be hard sometimes, you know. Um, like I have to refill a prescription. It's nothing major. It's for thyroid, okay? It's one of my battle scars from uh, bodybuilding, from my bodybuilding days. And um, uh, it's done by phone and, you know, computer, that sort of thing. And, uh, you know, the appointment was for like 50 minutes ago. And I just got done talking to the doctor right now. And uh, I got, you know, my refill on it. Um, but, you know, it's like, you know, things are so hard. He can't get through. Okay, so I'm supposed to get rid of all my apps and uh, uh, unblock this and that and all this stuff. And, uh, you know, I had to hook back up because, you know, I don't leave the Internet on. All right, it's satellite Internet. Uh, I just, I don't leave it on if I'm not using it. Uh, I have... Uh, learned to not enjoy the internet <laughs> um, years ago. And I don't. I use it because I have to. And uh, then when I'm done, I'm done. So I had to hook back up, get, you know, get back online, you know, and I got an email. We can't get through, blah, blah, blah. So I'm like, well, what the heck, you know? So I get rid of the link, the cordless phone and I plug in the old-fashioned princess phone because there's nothing on that that I have to worry about. So the guy still can't get through, you know, and it makes you wonder what is that all about. But he had this problem three months ago as well. I don't know what the issue is. So the office calls and says the doctor can't get through to you. And I said, well, I don't, I don't know why, you know. Well, you know, blah, 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 blah. I said, well, this is a landline. This is a landline? You know, like, like, like that's a big surprise thing or something, you know. I said, yeah, this is a landline. I said, and, and there's nothing on it, and, you know, he should be able to get through. Well, he couldn't, so they had to do the three-way, and it's like, man, what a fiasco. I mean, you know, <laughs> technology, technology. You know, I wanted to mention this because it's been on my heart and I need to release it. You know, gang stalking is the devil. Oh, well, let me let me tell you this, too, while I'm at it. About three weeks ago, four weeks ago, I don't know why. I must have had nothing to do or I don't know what, but I was... I don't even know if you use the word surfing anymore, but that's what I was doing. And I decided to put in gang stalking. Uh, in the YouTube um, search bar. And what came up along the side there, you know, all your things that come up, uh, was uh, uh, a couple of uh, uh, tarot card readers that are now using uh, cards that have gang stalking in the cards. I, I didn't go to the sites and listen or anything, but I read the titles. <clears throat> the titles were, um, uh, you know, uh, demonic <clears throat> gang stalking groups and, uh, you know, stalking, uh, so forth and so on. So I just, you know, I thought, wow, I guess it's, the spirit of the age or something, I'm not sure. I, I was surprised. You know, 20 years ago when I was gang stalked, <clears throat> started to get gang stalked and all that, and I was looking for information. Once in a while, you could find a blog that mentioned gang stalking. But, you know, four years ago when I came back to YouTube after not being on for 15 years, I think it was, 
Um, I was just shocked at all the YouTube videos on gang stalking. Well, lo and behold, now the tarot card readers are using cards that have them. I, I just, you know, I, I know that that's not the, the, the way of the Christian life and all that. And, you know, I'm not going to argue about that, please. I'm just telling you that it's interesting to me that, you know, it's just everywhere. <laughs> it's everywhere. So, um, you know, and it poisons people's minds. And this morning I got a little upset about it because whew, I know after 20 years, you know, I sit back today and I think, man, it, it has poisoned my mind. It has, you know. Um, I think that you guys remember about five months ago, six months ago, I wanted to get all the dye out of my hair. So I bleached it <laughs> and it turned green. And so I rushed to, uh, I tried to do some stuff myself with a friend, uh, uh, an email friend that, that I have, and um, uh, a prayer warrior friend. And uh, anyways, I, I ended up rushing to some clipper joint for 14 bucks. You know, you walk in and they will cut your hair for you. Okay, well, I did that and, and uh, it was 60 miles away. And so it's a 120 mile round trip for me to go get my hair cut because I can't do it around here, not with all these people. Haters. Haters. And uh, so, anyways, the lady that cut my hair, she did a very nice job. She was a grandmother. She had been working there at that Clippers for um, 10 years. Okay. Well, six weeks later, when I went there, she was no longer there. And uh, nobody knew anything. Well, of course they, they knew, but nobody was going to say anything to me. But I still wasn't, you know, I was a little bit upset about it. But, you know, so this other lady, she, you know, was there and I, you know, she was going to cut my hair and she did a lousy job. And, of course, I tipped her. And uh, she had told me that she was leaving the following week because she had to have foot surgery and she was not coming back. Okay. So the third time I went there, because when you have short hair, you know, it's high maintenance. You got to go every four or five weeks, you know. So the third, I've been there four times now. So the third time I went there, uh, I got this, this lady and um, she was okay, but, uh, you know, all right. The fourth time I went there, I knew that they were communicating with her. They were communicating with her. She cut my hair where she totally destroyed the foundation of the hair do, the hairstyle that I was attempting. And she used the razor and just, you know, beat the hell out of it, basically. And uh, I left, and I knew in my gut, I knew in my gut that, that, that she left me in the chair to go in the back room. Uh, I, I knew she was talking on the phone. Uh, I, I knew that uh, we were being monitored uh, because I know what to do to get a reaction. I'm not going to say it because my enemies watch my videos. And you can tell because there's a lot of views, but, uh, you know, just a handful, not a handful, but I, I get, you know, pretty nice amount of thumbs up, but I'm just saying, uh, I, they, they do. So they have nothing better to do around here, okay? So they watch my video, so I can't tell you anything more. So, yeah, you know, it's like a learned anxiety. It's, it's like it, it upsets me so much that I would go that far, 120 miles, round trip, you know? With the dogs and the gas and, you know, usually when I'm there, I go into the store, a nice store that's there, and I get vegetables and, you know, uh, it's just, you know, it's just a shame. And, and basically what it is is the devil trying to stop me, you know, jealous, foolish people that just, they, they just, you know, like I said last time, you know, how can you really be mad at them? You know, they need a good slap upside the head. That's what they need. But, uh, you know, how can you be mad at them? It's just, you know, it, it, it's like President Trump was talking one day about the Taliban. And he said, these, these guys, the Taliban, they fight. That's what they do. They fight, <laughs> you know. 
And I thought, well, and that, and that's what these people around here, the ones that are involved with um, the gang stalking, you know, uh, uh, you know, they're mentally unstable. Okay, they are pretty much uneducated. Okay, um, they are very foolish, and they ruin people's lives. Their home wreckers, their murders. Um, they uh, are destroyers. Um, they're evil. They're evil. They wake up in the morning with plans to do someone wrong and to ruin their lives. And, and that's what they do. This is what these people do. And, um, you know, we have to really protect ourselves from being poisoned. It, it angers me a great deal. Uh, I, I am working on a plan, okay? But in the meantime, uh, I think my hair looks pretty decent, you know. I'm hoping that I can keep this uh, style for myself without having to go to the uh, hairdresser of any kind. Uh, you know, with me, it's always a one-time shot, but it, it upsets me that, that someone, uh, and, and it could be the neighbor, okay, uh, or it could be um, uh, a female sheriff deputy whose husband is a sheriff also who's a Freemason. Okay, so the wives are usually the Eastern stars, but, you know, who knows? You know, if you're a female deputy, you know, you're working with all the Freemasons, so, you know. Why else would people be so afraid and quit their job? What would make a person quit their job after being at a at a place for years? You know, and this has been going on with me for a long time with other things like like my um, um, publish publishing specialist. I think she or she was the only one nice to me from the book company. By the way, treading on serpents. Uh, it, you know, get yourself a copy if you don't have a copy. Uh, it, it does keep giving, I'll tell you that. There's 365 days in this book. Uh, it's not all stories about my life, and uh, it will help you to not feel so alone. But uh, anyways, uh, she was a promotional specialist or whatever. She was the only one that was really nice to me on, on the phone and helped me and really believed in my book and was very nice. And this publishing company is the only publishing company where the employees own stock in the company. So it's owned by all the employees. So people who work there, you know, want to stay there and do a good job. Um, <clears throat> well, uh, you know, she was gone. And nobody could tell me anything. All of a sudden, there she was. She was gone. And that was four years ago. So since then, I have nobody working with me in the Department of Promotions. So anyways, yeah. So it, it poisons your mind, you know. It really does. And it can, it can bum you out. And, um, you know, it, it's the spirit of the age, you know. We're, we're living in times of the Antichrist. We, we truly are. And... Um, Let's see here. Hopefully I won't make this video too, too long. But um, I did have a plan. Okay. I'm going to start with 1 John 4, 3. And every spirit that does not confess that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh and is not of God. Sorry. And every spirit that does not confess that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh is not of God. And this is the spirit of the Antichrist, which you have heard was coming and is now already in the world. So John said that the Antichrist was already here in the world, okay? And uh, a lot of people, you know, are waiting for <clears throat> some physical person to show up that's going to be the Antichrist. But the Antichrist is already here. You know, Antichrist doesn't mean against Christ. It means instead of Christ. That's the Antichrist, okay? And uh, it uh, it seeps into, uh, it's, it's, a, it's a satanic way of thinking, which is the carnal way of thinking, which is the natural way of thinking in the world. 
and it poisons the minds of people, including Christians, okay? So we have to be real careful and be on top of things. Uh, my second scripture out of three of them that I want to read to you today is uh, Romans 12, 2. And do not be conformed to this world, but transformed by the renewing of your mind, that you may prove what is the good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Okay. I have passion for this um, uh, way of life of uh, decompressing the spine and the body. You know, I've been doing it now for six months, and it has helped me immensely to not only stay in alignment, but it has helped me to release a lot of stuck emotions that I had been harboring in my body that was weighing me down to the point where I was slugging around like a 90-year-old woman, okay? And I have that passion, and I want to share it with the world. And I believe that that is the good uh, uh, will of God for me. I do. So, of course, you're going to get the one, the people that are demonically possessed and jealous and full of hatred and wake up in the morning with this uh, list of destructions to do to uh, a number of people. Okay, they're going to try to, you know, ruin things for me. And uh, the Lord knows uh, my troubles. He knows my troubles. And, you know, to go that far and destroy three people's lives that work in a little clipper's hair salon, okay, 60 miles away in another state is pathetic. And God sees all. He sees all. And he helps us. He helps us, okay? And, um, you know, we're not, we're not built for, for this kind of anxiety and, and stress. You know, there's other things going on in the world besides that. But, you know, we're dealing with evil here. We're dealing with evil. I get, I get emails from people. I got uh, one lady, she was just being destroyed in her home, her and her dog. She finally got herself another place to live. She's moved a lot, okay? And she's got herself another place to live. So that was really a wonderful thing. And I got another email from another guy today that said that uh, people uh, uh, cannot rent. They're going to have to show a vaccination paper in order to get uh, a place to rent, you know. And I thought to myself, my God, is there no peace anywhere? You know, I guess we have to stay in the secret place of the Most High and abide under the shadow of the Almighty. You know? So, okay. So, to sum this all up, okay, for uh, Ephesians 6, uh, 6, 12, 11, okay. We put on the full armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil so that you may be able to resist the lies of the devil. Okay. For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities, powers, and the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual hosts of wickedness in the heavenly places. It's a cosmic battle. Therefore, take up the whole armor of God, that you may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all to stand, okay? That means that we resist, but we have to be armed. We have to be armed. Stand, therefore, having girded your waist with truth, the word, the word, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Having put on the breastplate of righteousness, that breastplate of righteousness protects us. It protects our heart too. And you hide things in your heart. It protects those things that are written on the tablets, okay, that you keep hidden in your heart, okay? I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Greater is he who is in me than he who is in the world, 
day. Having shod your feet with the uh, preparation of the gospel of peace, I always call that putting on your gospel boots, preferably steel-toed. Okay. Above all, above all, okay, and I wore my shirt today, okay, my faith shirt, the shield of faith with which you will be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked one. Not some of them, but all of them. Our faith. Our faith. And, and, and you know what? It's my faith that keeps me uh, training now for six months. It's my faith that is, is keeping me going. So uh, am I... Um, well, anyways. So uh, we, 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 we... This is covering for the battle this uh in ephesians here okay six uh i started with 11 i think okay and went all the way to 16. so anyways so, you know we stay in the fight we stay in the fight and we focus on jesus and uh, uh we hide in the secret place of the most high you know the name of jesus is a strong tower we run into it and we are safe. God bless you. I will see you soon. Thank you.